Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Welcome to the House of Loud. Autzen Stadium in Eugene, Oregon. Players are getting those quads and hammies all loosened up. What they better have ready is their eardrums. They'll be ringing soon as we get set for kickoff in Eugene. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Oregon's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact they can throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage, and, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. Got some open field. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. run to the outside. Van gets six yards on the carry. That'll make it second and four. Two times, two times. Go down, go down. Hey, check right 45. Check right 45. Check 26, check 26. Tackled for a loss. The defensive end was the victor on that play as he bolted in to tackle him for a loss. And he's able to do that because the interior linemen held their ground, leaving the runner with no options. From the 42-yard line, third down. Complete. He's got room. They'll bring him down at the 33. It's a smart job here by the coaches, making a play call here that really played to their offensive strengths. That's knowing your personnel. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's tackled right around the 36-yard line. That brings up second and 13. From the 36 yard line. Second down. He's taken down right around the 34. Sails it long. Finds his receiver. Touchdown. <laughs> and
and he tacks on the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. Let's take a look at some action from Waco. Back and forth they go to heavyweight, slugging it out. The Mountaineers have the edge, 3 0. Elsewhere, a brief detour to Denton, and for Texas State, they've won two straight. The Bobcats win it, 28 7. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Oregon, to kick this one off. Taken at the five. And he makes it out to about the 27 yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Passes it to the middle of the field. Tackle made at the 30 yard line. Tackle right around the 30. Gets it. He's in space. And he's taken down at about the 35. Fourth down upcoming as they go three and out. The secondary decided to drop back into coverage here, and there was nobody open for the quarterback to deliver the ball to. Good job by the D. Monroe to punt. Van fields at the 31, and he's taken down at the 42-yard line. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out in the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. And he's immediately tackled. Oregon up seven points. He makes his way to about the 22. The Ducks have one of the most dangerous offensive weapons in the entire country under center today. This kid is really fun to watch. He's fun to watch unless you're a defensive coordinator. One thing's for sure, it's going to be a great chess match between the offensive and defensive coordinators today. Gets it out quickly. He's knocked out of bounds at the 17. so well through defenses. And he hits the PAT. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Let's take a look at some action from Waco. This is a game we've been watching closely today. And for Baylor, power and speed delivering a rushing touchdown. And for Barnes, he scored a touchdown. West Virginia with the lead, 10-7 early in the third quarter. 14 to nothing in this one, Reese. Brian, ready to kick. He's to the 20. 
Oh, man, did he take a hit. Oregon's defense looks like it's ready to feed off this crowd all game long. It's like having an extra player out there. It sure is, Brad. They are off to a great start in that opening series. Let's see how they play here. Again, trying to just set the tone here early in this game on this next series. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. That would have been pretty remarkable if he'd managed to hold on to the ball after taking a shot like that. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Five wide. He's going right. And it's picked off. And they make the stop around the 42-yard line. Boy, just when it looked like they had a chance to get right back into this game, they throw the interception. Now it's still early. Let's see if their defense can bail them out. First and 10. Ball on the 42-yard line. At about the 31. He's at the 20. He gets out to about the 17 yard line. it out to about the seven. seven points. They line up to kick this one away. Stevenson from the two. And down he goes at the 24. Oregon's defense is playing lights out right now and pitching a shutout. Yeah, I would not be shocked at all to see this defense be able to maintain this. I, I just the way they're playing, the attitude that they seem to be playing with, if they can maintain the energy and the awareness of this offense, there's a very good shot that they could shut this offense out. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. He's got a lot of time to forget about that last pick. He's just got to stick to the game plan. As we change into the field, I don't think we're going to be seeing much of a change in the outcome. 21 to nothing, Oregon. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Gains his way to the 33 yard line. chance brought down at the 49 it's a good job of converting on third down with the running game first down Second 
quick out to his receiver. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 15. Man, that was an impressive looking play. When you can slice apart a defense like that, it puts a seed of doubt in their minds. Intercepted. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. It's second and ten. Ball on the 15-yard line. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home. Fires quick. Tipped. You know, the safety's responsibility, Brad, is to always make sure nothing is going to get behind him. He cannot ever get beat deep but also he has a responsibility to step up and make a play on the football in front of him. It's just another example of a defensive back, in this case a safety, just having really good instincts to be able to come up and know when to come up to knock that ball away. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. In the passing game, the chemistry and the rhythm between a quarterback and his receivers are very important. Here he has an open tight end, and he just throws it to a wrong spot. Those guys got to get on the same page. Kicks away, and he got it. Tennessee ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 32-yard line. They're not only the better football team on paper, as they've demonstrated today, they're the better team on the field today. And this offense has been outstanding. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And he throws it away. From their own 32-yard line. Second down. Hey, check my 45. Check my 45. Pressured and brought down. Call the loss of three yards on the way. That brings up third and 12. Defense. They weren't giving up anything on that series. Fourth down. Daniels, the return man. Daniels fields it for 39. He makes it out to midfield. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second and ten. Ball on the 50. Zips it to the back. They'll bring him down around the 50-yard line. He wants it all. They looked a little sluggish on that series. I'm curious to see if they pick things up when they get the ball back. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. He's got the corner. Oh, what a hit. The Ducks obviously have built their offense around this guy. And through two quarters, everything's working, Herbie. But, you know, you can't just rely on one guy. And he's got to be careful a little bit in the third and fourth quarter, too. Well, you want to keep pushing. I mean, he's off to a great start. His offense is obviously off to a great start. It's a four-quarter game. 
And, you know, the opponent's going to try to get back into this game, take some chances. So if this running back is smart, he'll continue to challenge himself, his offensive line, and the entire offense continue to try to put more points up on the board. it out to about the 41-yard line. That makes it second and six. Makes it out to about the 49. carries for a pickup of three. Oregon will take their first time out of the half. Two minutes to go in the half. He gets to about the 24-yard line. Tailback and he's met in the backfield. Call a loss of one yard on a play. That'll bring up second and twelve. Second and twelve coming up here. Ball on the twenty-five. Tailback brought down for a loss. That's a loss of two yards. That'll make it third and thirteen. And this play is number eight on the drive. The Ducks running back down there on the sideline. He was injured earlier. He means a lot to this offense, but I think he's going to be able to come back in. Looks like he's ready to go. This one's going deep to the end zone. He caught it for the touchdown. designed play to the wide receiver and it got him six. You said it Brad in a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. It was a textbook post route and the pass was right on target. He makes the PAT. An eight play 79 yard drive and it results in a touchdown. Brad not only did they put points up on the board but I think it's the way they did it. That could be demoralizing for defense. The score now 28-3. Brian has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Daniels from the five. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. I'm really surprised how lopsided this first half has been. But this is college football, and no matter what the score is, the adrenaline's always pumping on both sides. He airs it out. Incomplete. Accuracy is such a vital part of being a quarterback. You've got to have an ability to lay the ball right into your guy's hands. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. They come out in a five-wide set. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Taken down at the 34-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. First and 10, ball on the 34. Caught out in the open. Knocked out of bounds at the 42. 
that makes it second and two. I'm here all day. Hey, look, 48. Look, hey, look like the 48 right now. Let's go. Go, go. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. They'll line it up again on third down. He did not get to the first down marker. Couldn't get that additional yard he needed to keep the drive moving. No, he was trying to muscle his way past those big guys, but they stood their ground. Monroe awaits the snap. And he's tackled at the 31. Oregon's been playing like a well-oiled machine in this first half. And Kirk, are we going to see more of the same in the second? Well, I think as long as they can maintain the proper frame of mind, I think they've got a great shot to be able to pull away and win this game decisively. But the challenge for them will be listening to their coaches at halftime and continuing to play with that same aggressive attitude that they played with in the first half. Now he's flushed and they got it. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. From their own 27-yard line, second down. That would have been hard to watch if your team's on the short end as we head to halftime. Oregon leads 28-3. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. I really hope you'll stick around and watch the second half of this game. During the second half, I expect Kirk Herbstreit to give us a comprehensive history of every playbook he's ever had in his entire football career dating back to Pee Wee. That would be infinitely more interesting than having to watch the second half of this blowout. <laughs> Definitely, uh, that would be probably more entertaining. You know, we get on games all the time. They start to get out of hand. You got to empty the bucket. So, guys, back to you. Have some fun. Tell me something I don't know. These teams are pretty boring. Give me something from the human interest file, Brad Nessler. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. We've got a good, a lot of good game score. We're locked and loaded. We've got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Reese and David, you guys just sit there in your easy chairs. Kirk and I have work to do here in this third quarter. Hopefully it's going to get better. Daniels from the one. They'll bring him down at the 19-yard line. Oregon's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Quick strike to the receiver. He's taken down at the 28. Great on the tackle at the 28-yard line. That makes it second and two. Let's go. And he's leveled the 39-yard line. First down. Watch 14. Watch 14. Watch the curl. Watch the curl. Watch the curl. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39 yard line. He 
it goes downtown. Can't connect. A little too much juice on that one. And this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. Under heavy pressure. That's a great tackle at the 31-yard line. That makes it third and nine. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Van is the deep man awaiting the return. Oh, man, did he take a hit. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Oregon looking to add to this big lead here. Gold after a decent pickup. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Tackle made at the 41. About the 39 yard line. From the 39 yard line, it's second down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a game of six on the ground. That'll bring up third and two. Got the corner. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 20. First and 10. Ball on the 20. He's into the open field. And they make the stop around the two-yard line. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. The Tigers arrive today ranked 10th in the land. And for LSU, their hot streak continues. And for Drew, he had his passing attack in high gear. Better than 350 yards. The Tigers win it by three. In other action, what is happening in Waco? And for Baylor, they continue their winning ways. The Bears get the two-touchdown victory. Reese, we're in the midst of a blowout, my friend. They line up to kick this one away. He's tackled at the 26. Tennessee's having a hard time doing anything on offense right now. Well, they've had some opportunities, but they either turn the ball over or obviously don't execute on third down, and they're forced to punt. 
uh, or their drive uh, ends up uh, stalling on a fourth down. But they're moving the ball at times. I think they've just got to take some chances at this point late in the game like this. Throw the ball downfield and hope that your receivers can make some plays. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. Up the middle for a nice game. Looks to the back and can't connect. Monroe to punt. Oh, man, he took him down hard. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Oregon up by a big margin. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. From the 37-yard line, it's first down. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. Nice run up the middle. That's a game of seven. That'll bring up third and inches. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Down right around the 24 yard line. Tackle around the 13 yard line. One quarter to go, and we may be looking at some mop up duty. Oregon's running away with it. Well, folks, we resume action here in the fourth quarter. We'll hope for some action, because so far it's been a lopsided one. He's scrambling. So the quarterback scrambles for about four yards on the play. Second and six. Nine yards to the goal line. Oregon up big right now in this one. Here he goes. There's another. Outstanding run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. And he hits the PAT. A seven-play, 49-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brian has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Oh, he got nailed on that one. The Ducks have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. And it'll be interesting to see how much fight this team has left in them. This has been a brutal game. Hand off inside, and he's quickly brought down. And 
and he is drilled at the 32-yard line. That makes it first and 10. the call again and down he goes at the 44 yard line they'll bring him down around the 42 yard line first down They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. That brings up second and Watch 14. Watch 14. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Looking for the corner. Runs right for a nice game. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it first and ten. And he tackles him hard at the 20. Less than three minutes in the game. Inside the 10. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That makes it first and goal. It's the 11th play of the drive. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. Just throws this one away. From the one yard line, second down. Sure, they won't win it, but they haven't quit yet. That'll be a big boost. You always want to capitalize on these short yardage situations, and that pass was an excellent call. And he converts the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Tigers arrive at today's game ranked third, but believing they're the top team in the land. This one was tight. The Tigers prevail by seven. All right, Reese, back to our game. And he's hammered down. Oregon's proven to be the better team in every facet of this football game. Boy, their defense has played lights out. Their offense is taking advantage of their opportunities. Everything has led them to a very comfortable lead. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injury. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Gets to about the 37-yard line. That's a team of one on the play. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Yeah. 
And he's taken down at the 22. to about the six-yard line. staff just dancing on the sideline their star player came through for them and they couldn't be happy well the staff has to feel good the entire team should feel good and I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on that's it for this presentation of NCAA football 14 for Kirk Herbstreit I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks and we'll see you soon